What is up guys, it's your boy Revs and today I'm bringing you a pretty cool tutorial. I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to be working on. Alright. These rings right here is what we're going to be doing. Um, I might, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be giving you guys a cinematic. I might just do that just so you, ooh. I hate that. Just so we can all be working on like the same thing. But if you want to do these like around the gun or around some other, something else, you know, or if you just want to, you know, mess around with them, then go right ahead. So check the description for the um, cinematic that I'm using. And the camera and the blur and stuff, uh, I actually changed that up. From what I got right here but anyways <clears throat> let's go ahead and just open up a new comp 1280 by 720 lower this down to yeah like 40 seconds I guess um, alright make a new solid name this ring, ring 1 now get your ellipse tool, start from the very mi middle, and just hold control and shift and drag out and that'll make a perfect circle. Now go ahead and go to your effects and presets. As soon as mine loads up, there we go. Look up stroke. Alright, now as you can see we have our stroke on here. And it helps to have uh, your quality up to full just so you can see it because as you can tell on third you can't see it and on quarter half you can kind of see it but I just keep my keep mine on full because you know we're just dealing with a little ring here um, but anyways you can uh, you can ma make these uh, rings as big as you want if you want them like really big or if you want them like really tiny like that small that's fine I just actually I kept mine at like 2.5 to 2 or actually yeah never mind I put mine at 5 last time but I want I want them to be smaller um alright brush hardness this is you know if you drag it down it's gonna feather it out just a little but since it's so small uh, you can't really tell. Uh, what we're really going to be messing with is the start. Here. The start and the end. If you mess around with these, then you'll see that you've got some... It starts to like draw out the circle. And uh, this is what we're going to be messing with. So go ahead and keyframe the start and the end. And then press U on your solid drag it up to about six seconds I guess uh, let's, go, let's go ahead and go with four bring your start and your end all the way back now as you can see as you scroll through it you're, there's nothing there so that's why we need to adjust the end keyframe And it'll make like this nice little line. You know, you just gotta mess with it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So now that we've got that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the uh, ring or the solid. And then I'm going to straight up drag it out. To where the start ends, then I want it to like start again, but I want it to be like fluid. Alright, 
Yeah, so you just gotta mess with the keyframes a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. Just uh, bring the end keyframe to where the end keyframe is on your first on your first uh, layer, and that will uh, that'll like sync it up. I knew there was a trick to it, I just couldn't remember it. But yeah, that'll do that. And you can make a third one if you want. You know, just um, basically extend it. So it's basically going to go around three different times. And if you want to do it again, then just, you know, duplicate it. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Then it'll go around four times. Because this first one we're not really going to be using. We might use it after it gets about halfway because it's, the line is actually drawn out. But the beginning it starts off really small and has to kind of um, set up like the actual circle. You know what I mean? Like it actually has to get drawn out. Because we want a big piece uh, going around. We don't want a little, a little inky dinky thing. If I was going to do that I'd do like polar coordinates or some shit. So we're not going to be doing that. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, what you can do is you can actually change the colors as well. I should have done told you guys about this a little bit before all this, but um, psh, I'm a dummy, so sue me. Yeah, you guys can do whatever color you want. You can make them, you know, change colors as you go. You know, just do whatever. Yeah, so you can do some really cool things with this. <clears throat> Uh, me, I'm actually going to switch these all to like a like a nice little light blue. I'm actually just gonna use this one. Choose my little pen drop or whatever. All right. So now that they're all the same color. Uh, we're also going to add some glow, you know, just to make it look good. Show it above. There we go. I was wondering where it was. I was like, why is it working? Alright, that looks good. Just copy and paste on all of them. And all of them will be nice and glowy. Alright, next thing you want to do is get out your turbulent displace. Change the size down to 5 or more if you want. Um, but I want mine to look kind of more electric, and then you can up the amount as well. And this this is a really really cool effect. Like I didn't know that it went off and did you know these kind of things. Um, this is pretty cool. But yeah, I want mine to be kind of electric looking. So I think that looks pretty electrified. I'm also gonna alt click on the evolution time star 40 or whatever the fuck it's called and that way it'll kind of have a little bit of life while it's going if you want you can bump up the complexity but I'm just going to keep that at 1 um, anti-aliasing on high you know whatever now just copy that turbulent displacement and put it on the rest And now what you'll have here is a nice little elect electric line 
<coughs> and now what we can do is we can precompose this uh, ring two. We can actually trim this thing up as well. Press N on your thing. There we go. All right. So now, from here, you can do a couple other other things. You can uh, duplicate it, scale it down, and then rotate it. And then now you'll have like two. Oh, why did I save it? Oh no. Scale this one up. Or it's just a little bit too much. And you, um, you, if you're going to be doing this, you also need to set them all on add. I'm also going to rotate this one as well. You know, you can just do whatever. And you know, now you got like some. Just some random ass things going on. Now, I mean. And if you want to change the colors to some of these. I believe you can just go in there. No, never mind. That sucked. I didn't know if you could or not, but I thought I'd try it. So, you can't. My bad. But you can always, you know, um, change these colors. Or you can pre compose another one. And then, or you can copy and paste them in a new composition change all the colors and then bring that composition into this we're not going to do that because this is I just want these blue ones alright now let's get our cinematic I believe it's right here all right. drag that into a new comp and yes I know this cinematic is just everywhere Alright, I'm going to use this little portion of it. So let's go ahead and bring in our comp to. Alright, sweet. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we are going to track the camera and I'm going to come back after this is done so don't leave me okay guys I'm back and as you can see we're got some nice points here um, just make a point anywhere you know that's uh, you feel will be good now I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 bring up my uh, th other set of things and I'm gonna make this comp to a 3d layer now as you can see you know they're motion tracked and all that just they're not where we want them to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the comp 2 and then we're going to be rotating it
just try and like set it where it looks kind of like it would look cool maybe scroll around set it up like right there <clears throat> all right now this is kind of the weird part because now we've got a mask around where the statue is so I'm going to control D or copy copy the uh, cinematic drag it above the comp 2 and then you know just do your masking thing and I, I am going to do a shitty job and there's that then just push M on your mask and then start keyframing you know start doing some rotoscope because we all love doing this this is the fun part about editing yeah I know right you know just uh look out for you know maybe you're cutting them off whenever they go around the front of it. Just watch that. You know, just uh, adjust your things. And if you want, uh, you can do it the hard way and bring in every single individual ring into here, and then just you know, uh, put the layers above the mask and stuff like that. You know, copy it, and pay, copy it to where as soon as it goes behind um, you would cut it, I don't know, it's super confusing and really fucking hard like it's so tedious so this is kinda like the easiest way to do it but I think that this way actually works out really good um, it's just you know still tedious doing this but yeah this is basically it guys and I'm really sorry that this turned out to be such a long tutorial again um, they always end up running a lot longer than what I thought, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, see, it doesn't look completely horrible, but it does look pretty decent. And you got some nice little rings going around. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, this is, a, in my opinion, a really cool, unique effect, so... Um, comments, you know, if a like would be nice, but I'm not that kind of guy to sit there and say, hey, like this video because it's unique. Um, but if you if you learn something and you know you learned something really cool, um, a like would be greatly appreciated. Uh, share this video, you know, try and get this effect out there because this would be really cool, you know, seeing people actually create these things from scratch instead of uh, you know using preset rings and shit like that that stuffs it gets kind of annoying seeing those all the time um, you know because this is what editing is it's you know one of those things where you just gonna mess around with all these you know all your effects you get to learn different things and then use that knowledge to create you know something like this so this is a really cool thing but anyways guys that is it and I will see you later peace